Uh, Dr. Lee, I was going to ask you if you could sort of go through how you look at um, hormone sensitive or cash rate sensitive versus um, cash rate resistant prostate cancer. What are some of the characteristics in laboratory and even how do you talk to your patients about that, those two things? First of all, you know, I think it's really important to try to distinguish what category you're in, hormone sensitive, hormone resistant. There's a lot of things that we do in the urology office. Um, in terms of lab tests, we do, I do serial PSAs to follow these patients every three to six months or so, kind of get a sense of their PSA doubling time, which is really important. Um, I try to make sure that their testosterone levels are below 50 to indicate they're, you know, supposed to be cast in castration status there. Um, there's some imaging studies that we can do as well. There's conventional imaging like CT or MRIs bone scans, um, and we've also seen the rise of some of the newer imaging like PSMA PET scans and trying to figure out what's going on with the prostate cancer. 